Hey guys, I'm right now in my bathroom. Um, I'm usually standing at this time. But I just got some really big news tonight. Um, a friend of mine from church, she messaged me saying that she got a message from a writer. A Christian writer, to be exact, um, was at our church the day that our youth pastor resigned. But little did I know that our youth pastor told her about me, the young writer. Go figure. <laughs> um, and that she felt led by the Spirit. To mentor me and so my friend messaged me that and I was like oh my god I can't believe this is happening um, I feel so blessed and of course I do it I'm still kind of in shock by it but I did not even expect this. Um, I did not even expect this for my writing and for my future. When I started writing, I started writing when I was 17. What cracked my writing was the fact that my grandma died. And I needed an outlet. But when I moved to Bethany, um, I heard this story in class one day, and I wrote a poem, you know. It was once a hobby, but now it's grown into a passion. And I love it, because all I want to do is glorify God, glorify His kingdom, and bless Him, but touch others' lives as well. I want to be the one that encourages people through my writing when they're feeling down, or if they feel lost. Because I, too, once felt that way. And God brought me to a place where I don't have to feel like that. And He has blessed me so much the way I am now. It's unbelievable. I didn't think I'd ever be a writer. I thought I'd be maybe a pediatrician or something. But with my writing abilities and my passion for it, it just was clear. And my youth pastor told me, even though you're homebound, you don't have to be homebound in a sense. You can touch so many lives with your writing. And that encouraged me. And he taught me just how valuable I am in God's eyes. And in December 8th, I feel like my calling was set in stone by my pastor reading my poem in true meaning of Christmas. I think God has called me to be a writer at that point. And I would do anything to glorify my Father in heaven, even if it means to write. Love y'all, bye.